everyone! Today I'm going to be reviewing these two sewing machines for you guys because I get so many questions asking me what's a good beginner sewing machine to buy. So here I have the Singer Stylus and the Janome New Home and both of these are from sewingmachinesplus.com and they're both very beginner sewing machines and they're also very affordable. So what I'm going to be doing first is reviewing each of these machines individually and then at the end of this video I will be doing a comparison where I'll just be giving you guys my opinion on which sewing machine I would buy. So let's get started. This first machine is the Singer 7258CL Stylist and this machine is $189 and has 100 stitches for you to play with. When you turn it on, there is a light that shines down so you can see what you're sewing. It has a speed control which I always recommend. This control is so helpful for everyone because you don't have to worry about how hard you're stepping on the foot pedal. All these stitch settings are shown on the screen and the great thing about these electronic machines are that the settings are automatically changed for you. For example, if you wanted to do a zigzag stitch, you would just enter the number and the stitch length and width will be automatically adjusted. This machine has an automatic needle threader. The bobbin system is simple to use and has a clear covering so you can keep track of your thread. And besides the basic features, this machine has the start and stop button, which is a great thing to be included. So if you're someone who doesn't like to step on the foot pedal or you lost your foot pedal somewhere, this feature allows you to start sewing and stop sewing by just pushing that button and on this machine it actually allows you to use the start and stop button with the foot pedal plugged in so you can switch back and forth if you really wanted to. The next machine is the Janome DC1018 computerized sewing machine and this machine is $249 and I love how bright the LCD screen is and how easy it is to read. Um, there are only 18 stitches on this machine which is totally fine with me because I usually just stick with a straight stitch or a zigzag so this machine strictly has the essentials. The Janome New Home has very similar features as the Singer Stylus, such as speed control, automatic stitch settings, automatic needle threader, start and stop button, and a simple bobbin system. And both of these machines can sew buttonholes. So after reviewing these two sewing machines, I came up with a list of things to compare and that I wanted to share with you guys. And the first thing is the needle threader. Um, both of these have automatic needle threader, so you don't have to thread the needle yourself. But the machine that did it best was the Janome New Home. I was able to quickly thread this machine on the very first try. As for this machine, it took me a lot of tries and in the end, I still wasn't able to thread it. So I don't know if the threader is just complicated to use or I just don't know how to do it. But on this machine, it was very simple and fast. 
So the next feature I wanted to talk about was the LCD screens. And um, as you can see, the Janome new home is a lot more lit up compared to the Singer Stylus. But if you don't really care about how bright the screen is, then um, the Singer Stylus will be fine for you. But I really like how easy it is to see all this. So next is sewing quality. And if you didn't know, I used both of these machines in my previous thrifted transformation videos. And they both sewed very great. And the only difference is that the automatic settings on both of these machines are different. I did a zigzag stitch on the Janome New Home first and then the Singer Stylus and I really like the quality of the zigzag stitch on the Janome compared to the Singer but then I realized that the automatic stitch settings on the two machines were different by 0.5 so once I matched the stitch settings they actually both had very similar stitch qualities. Next is loudness of the machines and the Singer Stylus was very loud compared to the Janome New Home. Um, the Janome New Home felt very smooth and sturdy when I was sewing and it didn't like shake a lot while the Singer Stylus sounded like really loud like the bobbin down here was shaking. difference about these machines is the price. The Singer Stylus retails for $189 and the Janome New Home is $249. If I were to invest in a sewing machine right now, I would choose the Janome New Home just because I know I do a lot of sewing and this machine just seems a lot more sturdier and runs a lot more smoother than the Singer Stylus. But if I was a beginner and just learning how to sew, I wouldn't mind getting the Singer Stylus because it has the same features and like I said, both of these machines have the same sewing quality. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope some of you found this video helpful and if you want to see more videos, sewing machine reviews and comparison, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'm also doing a giveaway for both of these sewing machines. The one I'm doing right now is for the Janome New Home and all the rules for this giveaway will be in the description box. And for the Singer Stylus sewing machine, this giveaway is going to happen on my Facebook page. So be sure to follow me and like me on Facebook to see when this giveaway is happening. And good luck to everyone and I'll see you guys next time.